welcome back students of class 11th this is another presentation of geography which is based upon the climate of india this is a presentation which has been prepared by mukul dhar mishra puranchand vidyaniketan kanpur let us first of all discuss in this presentation what is the difference between weather and climate weather is the momentary state of the atmosphere while climate refers to the average of the weather conditions over a longer period of time weather changes quickly maybe within a day or week but climate changes imperceptibly and may be noted after 50 years or even more now let's see there is a unity a diversity of the climate of our country there is a unity of climate in the entire country despite a lot of regional variation india is bounded by the monsoonal type of climate the maximum temperature of india found 55 degree centigrade in western rajasthan on the other hand the minimum temperature drops up to minus 45 degree centigrade in dras district of ladakh the those factors that determine the climate are as following first of all the latitude and another one is the himalayas the extreme north india lies in temperate zone the north india lies in subtropical region tropic of cancer passes from middle of indian subcontinent and below it south india is the tropical region of the country the himalayas are an effective climatic divide for the country it protects india from cold northern winds it traps the monsoonal winds and they shed their moisture in indian subcontinent the climate determining factors further can be divided into two more categories distance from the sea and altitude the coastal areas experience many time type of climate the interior parts of india have continental type of climate this difference affects the entire sphere of life in our country the temperature decreases with height in the country due to the air mountains are cooler than places on the plains agra and darjeeling are on the same latitude but their temperature varies a lot there are two further determining factors of climate of our country they are as following relief features and air pressure and winds whereas relief feature or the physiography affects the temperature air pressure direction and speed of wind the windward side of the mountain receives heavy and leeward side receives very low rainfall on the other hand the air pressure and wind in the upper air circulation affects the climate western disturbances during winters also affect the indian climate local air pressures and winds also affect the climate of india here there is a map which is showing you various climatic zones of our country now let's take a look of the mechanism of weather in the winter seasons in india this season starts in the month of november in north and lasts in the month of february there are no winters in southern peninsula of india average mean daily maximum temperature whereas is 20 degree centigrade and minimum temperature remains 4 degree centigrade all over north india hail stones snowfall and frost are common in himalayan region further 
whether is influenced by distribution or the distrib distributions of pressure in central and western asia jet streams and upper air circulation witnessed only at the surface of the earth during this period of time in india it has its mean position at 25 degree north and february at 200 to 300 mb the western cyclonic disturbances enter in india from west during winter months now let's talk about the mechanism of weather in the summer seasons in india this season starts in the month of april in north and lasts in june there is extreme summers in north and equable temperature in south average mean daily maximum temperature whereas is 45 degree centigrade and minimum temperature remains 32 degree centigrade all over north india lu in may and thunderstorms in june are common in all over northern india the mechanism of weather in the summer season further can be explained in this way the intertropical convergence zone shifts by middle of july northwards and easterly jet streams flows over southern parts of the peninsula in june in august it is confined to 15 degree north and in september up to 22 degree north latitudes now let's see what is itcz itcz's full form is intertropical convergence zone that is a low pressure zone located at the equator where trade winds converge and so it is a zone where air tends to ascend in july it is located around 20 degree north to 25 degree north latitudes over the gangetic plains it is sometimes also called monsoon trough due to shift to itcz the trade winds of the south cross the equator between 40 degree east and 60 degree east longitudes let us understand what are isotherms isotherms are those imaginary lines that join equal temperature areas on map here in the background you can have a look through a map representation it is being shown to you that these lines are drawn on the map which are connecting equal temperature at a specific time period throughout the country now let's see what are isobars isobars are those imaginary lines that join equal pressure areas on map here in the background the map is showing you the lines that are drawn throughout the indian subcontinent joining the equal pressure areas which may vary from north to south and east to west let us understand what are iso heights iso heights are those imaginary lines that are drawn on the map which join equal rainfall areas on the map it is visible to you in the background through a map it is shown that the lines are connecting the equal rainfall at a specific period of time throughout the subcontinent now let us understand what is western disturbance western disturbance is a cyclonic circulation in the mid and lower troposphere between 2.1 and 7.6 km above sea level which originates over the mediterranean sea caspian sea and black sea it is one of the most important weather systems that causes adverse weather conditions over northwest india and particularly over the western himalayan region western disturbances during winter leads to occurrence of clouds rainfall and snowfall an intense western disturbance usually produces widespread heavy snowfall over the western himalayan region 
and rains over northern plains for a day or two and may trigger avalanches. Here there is a map representation which is showing the incoming of the western disturbance in the Indian subcontinent. Thank you children, thanks for watching this chapter climate first part, I will be back with the second part of climate chapter in upcoming new PPT presentation. Till then, thanks for watching.